Finally, after a whole month, and after every single YouTuber have made a video about the Gully Kit analog sticks, I received mine. I wanted to bring this content to you firsthand, but I didn't think it would take so long. Anyway, the Gully Kit analog sticks comes with all the tools you need, along with these Christmas themed thumb grips. I got the kit with two pairs. And here are the sticks. The stick cap is quite hard to remove, which is a good point. Maybe Gully Kit plans to release different caps of different heights in the future. And if your cap gets damaged, you can easily replace them. One thing I noticed is that the texture on the cap is slightly different from the original Joy-Con. It is made of rubber, but it's a slightly less grippy rubber. You can definitely see that when I attempt to scratch the surface. It leaves a mark on the original Joy-Con, but not on the Gully Kid sticks. And in general, it feels a bit more slippery. And I was super excited to test these sticks out. But as I waited for my unit to arrive, I saw lots of posts on GBA Temp of people reporting a clicky noise with these sticks. And reportedly, this problem is happening with the first batch of sticks, which is probably mine as I bought them as soon as they appeared. And I guessed it right as one stick of each pair came with this click problem. But I decided to install them anyway and see them in action. Thanks to the tools that came with the kit, the installation is pretty easy. And when you get to this point, you can replace this tick. A very important step when reassembling the controller is that you must use a plastic tool to attach the battery connector back again. Do not use a screwdriver or else you might short the pins and fry the motherboard. I won't be disassembling both Joy-Cons as I already did a detailed teardown video, which I'll be leaving in the card on the top right corner. Initially, the stick will be drifting, but you must calibrate it first. And here we already see a big difference from the K-Silver sticks, as you don't need to use a magnet to calibrate them correctly. And here you can see the problem with clicky units. The stick jumps when the click happens. This happens because of a manufacturing problem with the plastic parts, as you can see on this video. I reached out for Gully Kit, and they already know about this problem. And they say that this is an issue only with the first batch. And if you have a problem, you can ask for a refund. And the calibration survives after turning the controllers off.
Just as I have guessed, this happens because the gully kit sticks have an additional chip that will correct the position of the stick making it centered. Since the issue happened only on two parts, I had one functioning pair. And on these units, it works correctly. There is no click and no jumping. Another point of this first batch is that there is a small hole on the top of the stick. It is also present on the original stick, but it's much less perceptible. This hole does not represent any problem to your controller, so you don't need to freak out about it. And if you still prefer the original stick caps, it has been reported that you can remove the stick cap from the original Joy-Cons and use them on the Gully Kid sticks. And finally, finally we are free from Joy-Con drift. But I guess I have to be thankful, as if it wasn't for the Joy-Con drift, this channel will never exist. So thank you, but goodbye Joy-Con Drift. In the end, should you really get the Hall Effect sticks? Well, since this problem is supposedly only on the first batch, I'd say that yes, you should definitely pick it up. If you have a problem with your unit, you can ask for a refund, so it's a win-win situation. Or if your stick isn't drifting so bad, you can still use the cardboard fix and wait for the revised version. It's up to you in the end. And by the way, since I couldn't get a refund on my sticks as it took so long to arrive, Gullikit will send me new units from the revised version. When I get these new units, I'm gonna make a new video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to get notified when it happens. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.